Hey guys, welcome back to another review, and today we're taking a look at the Transformers MPM Movie Masterpiece Barricade. Um, I do not have the box for this figure anymore because I, I, I got this figure when it released, and I've since lost the box. But um, here he is in his uh, car mode, and I think it looks really good. I, I really do love how um, the his uh, car mode looks all together. Um, I do believe he is a Saline Mustang. I know for a fact he's a Mustang. But I believe the technical, or the, the other name is a saline. So, um, if I'm wrong though, I'm sure somebody will let me know. But, I'm getting closer on the detail. I do like how all the lights are picked out in paint. And the headlights are picked out in silver paint, is what it looks like. Behind the transparent paint, or uh, plastic. You do have his police Decepticon symbol right here on the side. If it'll focus. So you got that going on. Then you got police here in silver. Of course, his number 643. To punish and enslave is done on both sides. As well as 643 police, his insignia or symbol. And then you have a 643 on the top and the light bar, which is made out of uh, transparent plastic, blue and red. Or, yeah, blue and red and, you know, clear alike. Um, you got emergency 911 response on the back here. Got the gas cap. And on the back, you got, again, 643, and, oh, yep, he is a saline. Ha! <laughs> Says right on the back of the car. Well, look at me, I am a smart boy. Um, got the exhaust pipes done here in silver. And then the license plate says, focus, says Oklahoma, and then 14027E State, or Oklahoma State. So, and I got the taillights picked out in red, so. But it is a very, very, very nice, uh, very, um, very kind of hefty car, too. Um, the way that everything compacts, it just feels, you know, just solid and, and kind of bulky, at least. You know, it's kind of how I, um, take it, so. Um, as far as accessories go, he does come with two. I have lost one, and I will get to that. But he does come with his, uh, spinning mace uh, spike thing of death here. And it can spin, as you can see. And all of these... Spikes are done out of a rubber or soft, or yeah, kind of a soft plastic, rubbery plastic. So you don't got to worry about these breaking off, just uh, deforming, I guess. Um, so the accessory that I did lose was actually a clear stand to put this in. It just you just set it on the stand and it would hold this up if you didn't have it on barricade. I don't know where that went. I lost it and I haven't been able to find it, but. Not really that important, so I'm not too worried about it, but uh, he does come with a stand for this. But, um, yeah, but you can see all the nice, uh, you know, molded detail. I've got the, you know, how it um, turns into the wheel, or the wheel turns into the mace. And you just got this section here, so. And you do have some nice uh, molded detail in there, so. It looks pretty good. But, um, and no, there is no way to store this on the vehicle mode. Absolutely no way you're getting it on the underside and on the top. So I guess you can just set it up there. It's what they do anyways most of the time so but um as far as vehicle mode goes that is about it so i suppose we'll just get down to his uh, transformation and his transformation is very similar to every other barricade or movie barricade at least from this iteration so um let's just get started uh first thing i like to do is come to the top or the roof section here and kind of bring it up like so bring it forward like so, and then take the light bars and split them down the middle and kind of angle them out like so. I'm going to raise the camera up just a little bit. Uh, the next thing, kind of just want to start untabbing things. So kind of come to the back here and untab the legs and the arms, kind of get everything all loosened up. Come to the front here and kind of do the same thing, kind of grab at it and loosen it up because... So, now, his hands here are stuck behind these these uh, window pieces, so what I like to do is I'll take it, kind of grab at this, kind of pull out a little bit, and then angle it down at one of the hinges and kind of get it, kind of work its way out from behind that window piece. So you can see how that kind of comes together. He does have a little bit of a clearance issue, but um, it's not too bad. The plastic at least isn't doesn't feel... Uh, brittle enough to where it's going to break, but kind of do the same thing on this side, kind of bring it out, bring the arm down, just kind of get it out the way, and you have that all done. And then you can finish, come to the front here, and pull the arms out, like so, take the arm, pull it out, like so, so you have that going on. 
Now you want to come to the top here and bring the section up and that'll reveal his head. And then all of this will just accordion down like so. You then can come to the legs here and you can see how they're on like kind of a hinge joint. You want to bring that inner hinge joint up and then bring the leg down and do the same thing. Just can bring that hinge joint up, bring the leg down. You then can take this section here and you're going to want to bring it up, rotate it to the side, collapse it into the back of his calf and fold this section down and it'll tab in. You then can bring his foot down and flip up his little toe spike. So you want to do the same thing on this side, kind of bring this up, rotate it, bring it in, fold it in, bring the section down, and flip his little toe spike up. You then want to come to his head here. Pull When you pull his head up, this whole assembly here will come up with it. Kind of, so you want to pull his head up and then bring that up with it as well. So it kind of fills out his chest. So bring his head up. Like so, you then can take the uh, brush guard, I believe that's what it's called, and fold it underneath, like so. You then want to take the whole body here and collapse it in right there like so. And then there is a tab, a black tab right here that'll go into that slot right there. So you wanna bring this section, kinda bring this up, and then bring this whole section back. And it'll all just tab into place actually before you want before you do that you do want to take these uh window or excuse me you want to bring up his arms they're on a separate hinge uh right inside here you so you want to bring these up same thing on this side kind of bring that up like so take the the door wings and bring these down just accordion down against the back then you want to take this entire section and bring it back and then take the roof or the hood of the car and tab it in to his back like so. And you got that all done. So last thing to do is just to just work on his arms. So for his arms, what you want to do is raise this up a little bit. You want to size comparisons in the back, which just to ignore that. It's just but um you want to uh um, take the section, bring this down, take this piece, fold that down, and then how I like to do the arm is come under here, take the wheel section, bring this back down, take the wheel, fold it out, bring it down, tab it in, or take the hand, swing it around, kind of fold the hand up like so, and then there are three tabs on the and his hand right here that'll go into the wheel just kind of line everything up and then there's a little section here on the wheel you can just pull or push back and it reveals some molded in detail you then want to come in here flip this section out flip that up take the door panel and i the, the way i find this easiest if you bend his arm all the way up and then bend it in and kind of rotate it around and then rotate it back up against his arm like so. And then of course you can just take this and accordion his arm and tab it all in. So there you have an arm all done. So we'll do the same thing on this side. Again, just take this section, bring this down, flip that down, come back down to his arm, take the wheel, untab it, bring it around, shift it down, tab it back in, take his hand, swivel it around. Oops, I don't want you untabbing. So tab it in. Oh, he's falling. So take the hand, bring this out. Bring the camera down because you can't see what I'm doing. So you want to tab this in like so. You just kind of got to keep turning the wheel until the slots light up like so. Then want to take the section in here, bring this up, fold that up. Take the door panel and fold this around like so. And just take the arm and extend it up like so. And let me get him all situated and get everything all straightened out. So, and that is pretty much it, I believe. I don't think I missed anything. Oh, um, his chest panels in here, you can kind of do what you want. I just kind of like to take them and angle them out just a, just a tad bit. So they look something like that. But there is a Transformers MPM 
movie masterpiece Barricade fully transformed and in his robot mode. And I really like his robot mode. I think he looks very, very good. Um, Very screen accurate in my opinion. I, I think they really did a great job at capturing his on-screen appearance. So, I'm getting close here on his head. Oops, bumped the camera. So, you can see how his head looks. Um, I love the blue and the red and the gold. I just think that it all looks really, really well along with the silver. I think they did a great job. And you can open his mouth all the way if you wanted to get that look going so they did give him that and just overall i think the molded detail and the painted detail looks really good they used um a lot of this metallic blue paint and obviously the silver kind of throughout and i think it really really makes him uh, pop so but you can see all the nice molded detail in here on his abdomen and on his legs and his feet and his toe spikes and all that good stuff in his hands get a good look at his maniacal fingers so and going up the back a pretty clean transformation you know obviously i guess uh except maybe the car parts kind of hanging off but that's kind of the point so um but overall my opinion very nice um as far as articulation goes the head is on a ball joint so you can do what you wish with it um again there is a hinge at the mouth uh, the arms are on a ratchet joint. You can do a full 360. They can go in and out. He does kind of hit himself in the face with a shoulder pad or sh shoulder pylon pad thingy. But um, they can go out. Uh, he does have a bicep swivel, full elbow bend. And if you want to, you can utilize these uh, hinge joints in here as extra articulation. So if you kind of wanted to get like um, a more outward pose you could do that uh he doesn't really have a wrist swivel because he doesn't really have i mean he has a wrist but no no wrist swivel just the way that it's all designed um but his fingers can open and close they are on uh hinge joints so you can do that if you wish uh he does have a waist swivel which is a bit limited but he does have a little bit to work with uh the legs can go all the way out so he can do a full or these yeah, excuse me he can do the full splits and they're on very nice ratchet joints and these little hip pieces can move out as well if you wish to do um anything with those so you got that going on he does have or the legs can't go forward that far they can go back that far so i'm just getting in the way does have a thigh swivel does have um his knees are kind of weird because you only get one and two clicks on a knee on the knee joint, and it doesn't really go all the way to ninety. So, um, you know, it 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 is limited. But you you know, for what you, I guess you were gonna do, you can um, use his knees pretty well, despite the fact that you only get two clicks. But um, but he does have a knee bend, and he does have an ankle pivot. No um, ankle swivel, but ankle pivot is always appreciated. So. And get him all situated so we'll bring his uh weapon back in and this is the one thing i don't really like about the figure and it's how he holds his his um his mace so what you want to do is basically half transform his arm so you want to take this section kind of bring this down let me actually lower the camera a little bit um you want to basically yeah you're just going to transform his arm back to how it was so you bring this section down bring this down rotate his hand back rotate the hand back and you can kind of fold his arm up like so and you just want to take the wheel untab it and collapse this back up to how it was so you have that going on and how this works is there is a slot right there and a tab right here and it kind of hooks in so and there's another tab right here so you kind of want to take it and it'll hook in like so and that is how you plug in his mace um two issues i have with this one it looks you his arm looks like a mess uh, i'm not a fan of how this is going on and it really does limit the posability because you have all this stuff going on um, and his hand is just hanging out the back. And also, the connection here is not uh, the greatest. And, yeah, it's it's really not that great. Um, oops. <laughs> but, um, 
he looks cool with it. Don't get me wrong. It's just it's not a very great. I I, I really do wish they were, they did a better way of um making it because even if you could fold this piece up a little bit, kind of get it up into the arm would look better. But um yeah, that kind of that don't look so great. But um but there you go. You can have him wielding his mace. So I'm gonna leave it on for the rest of the video though. So. Let me get him all situated for size comparisons. So, for the size comparisons, here he is with um, Masterpiece Movie Bumblebee. And I think they look great together. I absolutely love how they look. And I think they scale wonderfully. So, very glad that they were able to capture how these two, you know, kind of look. So, there is that. Um, here he is with Dragoon. Just because... Uh, they were in The Last Night together. Of course, this isn't how he looked in The Last Night, but there's there's a Dragoon, or The Last Night Megatron. So there's a, there's that. And lastly, but not leastly, here he is with his fellow MPM 2007 Decepticons. Here he is with Megatron, and here he is with Starscream. The only other two that we have. So you can see how they look together and they look nice together so um takara and hasbro get to work on the other three please we're only missing bone crusher blackout and brawl so that would be great if you could get those out like soon but for now that's all we have unless you get like the ko's and stuff but you know i don't have money for that so <laughs> but um yeah as far as npm barricade goes Definitely a very good figure in my opinion. This, um, despite the flaw in my well, in my opinion, it's a flaw with the um, how this whole assembly works. But um, other than that, I think he looks fantastic. Like I said, very very screen accurate. Oh, sorry, I do have one more complaint. He doesn't come with frenzy. He's a masterpiece movie figure, and he doesn't come with frenzy. Instead, you have to get a DNA upgrade kit to get frenzy. That is actually the one. Th Forget the mace. I'm gonna, I'm gonna rant for a second. That is one thing that really bothers me. Like I just said, why didn't he come with frenzy? I am baffled as to why he didn't. Cause Takara is so happy to put minifigures with like MP44 and um their uh, Bumblebee 2.0, which didn't need them and actually hurt the figures in my opinion. But you can't include frenzy with barricade. Um. I wouldn't have even cared if he fit into his chest or not. I just, you know, just, just include a figure. Especially, you know, kind of like how with Jazz they included a Sam. But you can't include Frenzy with Barricade, you bastards. I don't know. That just, that really bothers me. Um, It's not a knock against the figure. It's just a knock against Takara or Hasbro, I guess. Because I, I just, I don't, why? Why do you do that? What the heck? So... But other than that, uh, the figure itself is great, though. I definitely do recommend it. If you can get one, um, definitely pick it up. So that's going to be about it for the review. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you for watching, and have a good one.